five yards to equalize. And then we can get on to our second round and start counting fruit frames. I've gone through this half the yard, just assessing the big ones and the medium ones and the small ones that need a boost. Pulled out a weak one. And I'm not going to do this side quite yet because we're going to go for lunch and then come back after lunch and finish that up. This colony here was a drone layer. We have an extra queen we're going to put in here. Is this colony finished up? Uh, no, you wanted two brood frames two brood. and they've just got one. So we're going to drop another brood into here. Spark that box back up. And anything that I go through with the lid upside down tells me that it's a monster. Nectar, nectar, coming in. Look at that. Can I take a look at that? Uh, you know, that makes me very happy, even though that frame is a piece of garbage. Exactly. But the bees are doing everything they can with it. Oh, it's worse on that side. Yeah. So that's not the queen's fault. Look at the job she's doing. At least we're going to get some boys out of this frame. So that's good because we need some of them. We... Are you seeing much drones in the colonies? Uh, there's a few walking about. Boy, you know, we're at the end of May and we're just seeing bits and pieces of boys walking around. And I don't know. Just shows how stressed my colonies are. But we're climbing out of the doom and gloom and misery with some growth. You can smell the nectar down here. Ooh, it smells great. Then I stumble upon small ones. And we're getting late on the boost on this first round. So some of the real small ones are falling apart. I have to shake out. That queen's spectacular. and keep her going. That one just needs a brood frame. Get us on to the next round to get another couple frame to boost. These two are... You know, this one here, I'll just show you what I mean. They fall beneath that population threshold and they just need some bees. Typically with these colonies, what I do is I put them on top of strong ones. But this year is, we don't have a lot of strong ones, but it'll do that. So we're sifting and sorting and skimming and boosting. It's a frame by frame year this year, not a box by box year. Got this pack full of pollen. Queen's going to town there. This colony is just a little bit small, so I'm not gonna fault her, not fault her yet anyways, because she seems to be doing a spectacular job. She just needs a boost. Just a lack of bees walking around. There she is right there. She's doing what she can with what she's got. We're gonna drop a brood frame and shake a bees in here. And on the next round, we'll further assess them and probably give them a frame, maybe even two frames. Let's take a peek at some other ones here. tough year for counting frames in the bottom you know how do you count that you got to look in between the seams to find them so they're tucked up in there this is like a two to three framer tucked up to the top just about done that patty Be syrup too. Lots of nice resource. It's 
a beautiful little nest here. Look at that. Rimmed with pollen. She's filled that right up. She's stretching her eggs down here. Doesn't seem to be a lot of bees in here to be able to accomplish that type of work, but maybe when those, maybe when that brood hatches. Another little decent brood nest. She stretched those eggs all the way down. Actually, they're developing the larvae down there. So she's pushing this nest forward. With all this brood about to emerge, it's gonna help inject. There's some more open brood down in there. Well, this colony is just lacking the, the bee numbers. Frame's no good there, a little patch of brood. There she is actually, a baby. We're gonna give this colony a boost. One brood frame, some bees, and with that, she's gonna be able to take a leap forward. And when we come back and reassess, we can start counting brood frames and then bring this colony right up with the rest. Colony's a little bit bigger, but looking from the top here, it's not big enough to pull any strength from. Still on the patties. Getting something from it. And I'll give them a little bit more yet. So this colony, actually, I would not even bother going down into. Uh, just leave them alone, slap the patty on, slap the tail syrup. But I'm just going to take a peek down here to see what's going on. The next round we come through, we probably would have to pull some string. And that's a pretty nice frame. Decent brood laying pattern. We have some mature larvae, resources all the way around the outside. She's pushing this nest right to the corners. So it's not going to be long and these bees will have more than enough to be able to donate towards another colony. We have a brood nest from here all the way over to here. Well, maybe not that far. This is right full of pollen. catch these ones on the next round. dig into a bigger one here for to find some donation
This brood nest, we have mature larvae all the way out right to the corners here. There's fresh, freshly hatched eggs. This colony is pretty decent, just it's not too big. So we're just gonna rob one brood frame and one shake of bees from them. And then when we come back the second time around, count brood frames, you might be able to skim a little bit more We'll just pull them down a bit by some time to help boost up some of these smaller colonies. Just beautiful brood nest filled right in with eggs again. There she is. Nice queen. So I'm just going to put her to the side here nice and gently. And I'm going to decide which frame I want to take from them. I want to take a decent frame that's not gonna you know, tax the boost colony too much. So I want mature brood, so this is mature brood here. Probably some resources. I don't want it right to the corners because that's hard to maintain, but I think this frame's gonna emerge in good time. So I'll likely take that one. Let's take a peek. Yeah, these ones are all in stages of development. Oh, here's a good frame. has some pollen in it, some mature brood. Patterns no hell, but it's all like speckled with uh, pollen stores. So those are plugging up the brood nest. Here's another, here's a good frame actually. I might take this one. Some mature brood rimmed with pollen, a little bit of honey. This will be good for a boost. Let me take this one. put this colony back together. Put the queen in. So I, I, where are you going? Maybe put her in a little bit of a safer spot. So now I know she's over there. I'm going to take this as my shake of bees. This colony needs the brood, needs the bees. Tail's empty, still needed, we'll collect them next round. Okay, so now we're gonna put this colony back together. We're actually done with their treatments, but we're gonna collect them the next round. And I'm not going to let up on these patties until I get out of this hardship. I'm going to give them absolutely everything they need until I have more bees than I can deal with. 
So this is a lot of work. These types of years, so it's a tremendous amount of work. Frame by frame by frame by frame. Most years, as you can see in previous years in my videos, I manage this type of time of year by the box. You know, the colony grows up, we're putting boxes on, we're taking boxes away. To boost small ones, we're just superimposing those small ones onto big ones, so everything's by the box. This year, we're skimming, you know, we're finding everything we can to be able to boost. And because of that, we have to manage by the frame. It's a terrible amount of work. So honey, she's been out here right to the edge. Eggs, there's mature larvae there. Besides, has some cappings on it now with some pollen. Let's see her on here, but this would be a good frame to donate. That is a nice frame. These kind of frames were in a bead of sweat down my forehead. There's going to be a lot of bees show up in this colony in a short amount of time. This frame has some resource in it. Pollen kind of scattered all over the place, making a mess of that bird nest. This side is pretty decent. This would be a good donation frame. I have a boost colony that needs a gentle nudge. This is, this is a gentle nudge. But I need to find her because I don't want to accidentally remove her from this nest. Defeating the purpose. So I put the time in and we hunt her down. They're packing in the pole and absolutely anywhere they can. Makes me wonder why they're still on these patties. I'll keep feeding them until we just kind of pull out of this hardship. These, these colonies are just, just climbing out of all this doom and gloom. With all this fresh nectar and pollen coming in and the warmth, especially the warmth. It's helping them, well, it's getting them out and flying more, which is helping relieve some of this nosema issue I've been plagued with. Mm -hmm. Beautiful frame, open brood everywhere. I sense she's on here. She typically, you know, you see a lot of open brood and eggs. Well, there she is there. Beautiful color. Just gonna set her aside momentarily.
right full of pollen. She needs space of anything. So I'm gonna give this colony a gentle nudge with this boost. Visual 